I think it's a cool thing all around. Either way, actually, it would be fine. Unbelievable. Uh, Lacey Wilson in Christchurch. Morning, Lacey. Good morning. Now, a few of us, I'm sure, can claim to have arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, and I can tell you I am definitely one of them. Now, I went to check out what the University of Canterbury has been doing. Their uh, Human Interface Technology Lab have designed a virtual spider. It's called Augmented Reality, where a virtual spider can interact with reality, a final year mechatronics engineering student, Sam Corbett Davies, designed it using a Connect Xbox camera. So this camera can help you tell the depth of field and things like that. So when you put your hand uh, in this augmented reality, the spider can actually climb onto your hand, as you can probably see me doing, uh, cover the spider or even poke it and touch it. Uh, now, they're hoping that in the future, this can be used in therapy as a step-by-step -step exposure to spiders. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Mm. Uh, can do this in a controlled setting. Mm -hmm. So we have full control over the spider. And so we can uh, make it small, big, we can change these colors. We can uh, add more spiders in there as well. They're hoping that eventually they'll be able to put this augmented reality onto uh, like glasses so that you can see it clearer on yourself and also trying to design something like gloves where you can feel what the spider is doing to you. Wow. You'd have to be pretty afraid of them to go through all of that, wouldn't you? It could make you a lot worse, couldn't it? Uh, Suddenly there's imaginary spiders and you're dreaming of spiders you. and everything. I'd oh. say just avoid them, personally. Um, Kim Downs is in Auckland. You've got something exciting today, Kimmy.